for this next exercise, we'll be stretching out a right thoracic curve or an S-shaped curve, right thoracic, left lumbar. As you can see, we've got four corrections we need to make for the S-shaped curve. Starting with number one, we're going to wedge on the left side to prop up the pelvis and straighten out a lumbar scoliosis to the left. And as we said, when the spine bends from one side to the other, there's also a twisting that occurs. So the second step is we untwist the lumbar spine by twisting right. Then moving straight up to the thorax, the third step, as you can see, the left shoulder's too low, so we're going to bend the body right to straighten out the thorax. And finally, we'll untwist the thoracic spine by twisting your thorax, your rib cage, to the left side. Now, print this off from section three and blue tack it to the wall in front of the chair because that's where we'll be doing the exercise. Let's take a look at what you need. You need a chair, a TheraBand, a water bottle that's full, and a towel. Place the chair in front of the wall and your little cheat sheet that will be up there in front of the wall and start with the left wedge. The towel simply folded once is enough, about a third of an inch, and we're going to wedge the left side up by placing the towel under the sit bones, which you can feel for with your fingers. That's step one. Now let's look from the front. Same side, left side. Now for step two, we need to understand the relationship between the pelvis and the lumbar spine. When one moves one way, the other moves in the opposite direction, relatively speaking. So if we want to twist the lumbar spine, we simply need to move the pelvis. We can do that by moving the chair to the left, which will twist the lumbar spine right. Sitting in the chair, we simply turn our bodies to face the front wall, just like this. And now we're ready to start the exercise. Step three, we know that we have a low left shoulder, so we need to bend the body to the right in order to take that scoliosis out, which will nicely stretch the left side. Let's first warm up the body with 10 repetitions side to side. If you don't have a thoracic scoliosis, this is all you'll do for the exercise, just the warm ups. Step four involves twisting, so we also need to warm up the body by twisting. Again, 10 repetitions side to side. And if you don't have a scoliosis, you'll simply stop there. Okay, let's look at step three. In order to take out that low shoulder, we bend right and then we twist left. Step three, step four. Really pulling that shoulder all the way through to twist. Step three, step four. Step three, we bend right and then twist left. And that's all there is to this exercise, stretching out a right thoracic scoliosis.